In the high stakes arena of cricket, spin bowlers are the masters of deception, the magicians who can turn the tide of a match with a single delivery. But behind every mesmerizing spin, behind every game changing wicket, lies a secret weapon. Strength. Strength training is not just for fast bowlers or batsmen. For the spin bowler, it's the foundation of endurance, precision, and power. It's what transforms good bowlers into legends. Today, we unveil a crucial strength workout that fuels the spin bowler's prowess, enhancing their performance, preventing injuries, and adding that extra edge to their game. Join us as we dive deep into the strength regime that powers the masters of spin. This is where strength meets skill, this is the making of a spin bowling champion. Before we get into this strength workout for you, I'm going to give you the foundation for every workout you should do from this point forward to make you stronger and more explosive for your spin bowling. For every workout, we are going to take four different types of exercises which are going to target every area of the strength speed continuum. For the first exercise, it's going to be focused on your absolute strength levels. So these are going to be compound exercises like your bench press, your squat and your deadlift. So the focus for these will be low reps and we're going to do about five sets. After this, the second exercise is then going to work on your strength speed. So again, we're going to be moving pretty heavy weight, but we're going to be working at a higher velocity. Workouts that fall into this category are going to be something like your push press, your power cleans and your power snatches. From there, our third exercise is then going to work on your speed strength. These are going to be things like your med ball slams, your med ball throws, your rotational throws. You know, the weight is going to be lighter, and but the velocity and the speed is going to be higher. For the fourth exercise then, we're going to work on absolute speed. This will be things like your box jumps, your plyo push-ups, exercises like that where the weight is relatively low, normally just your body weight, and the velocity is going to be as high as it's going to be across all of these exercises. So that would be the structure of every workout you take now going forward if you want to become a stronger and more powerful cricket player. Today I'm going to show you exactly what a session like that is going to look like, so let's get into it. First exercise of this workout we're going to be doing is a bench press. So how is this specific for a spin bowler? So as a strength and conditioning coach, my main aim is to make you stronger and a more powerful athlete. The skill side of it is not what falls into my domain. I then give you back to your skills coach as a stronger and more powerful person. And that is there where you learn to convert this strength and power into your skill. So the bench press here is great for your pushing strength, which carries across all aspects of your cricket. As you can see from the examples here, when I'm benching, you can see the velocity is so low. And on this, we're just doing five sets of two reps. So the weight should be really heavy to start. For the second exercise, we are gonna be doing a push press. And as you can see, this is great for your lower and your upper body explosiveness. And this is gonna be our strength and speed exercise. As you can see, as I go through the set, the velocity start to drop off towards the end of the set. And as expected here, as the weight is still quite heavy, for this exercise, we are doing three sets of five reps. And as you can see, I'm pretty comfortable in sort of going from one rep into the next. But as you see on the last set, I show you what it looks like if you want to take that pause at your shoulders. This is a great option if you're just not comfortable going from one rep into the next. For our third exercise, we are going to be doing a rotational med ball throw here but we're going to be doing it with the half kneeling variation. This is great as this was going to give us a really good carryover to our strength and speed in our bowling action. As you can see, we're going to do both sides of this, although I know we only bowl and rotate in one direction. But when we do our work in the gym, we want to do everything on both sides. We do not create any compensations in our body or any more than what we get from our bowling, as this is going to lead us to getting injured. Uh, just another point on this, as you can see, the most important aspect of this is the intent. Every rep that I'm doing, you can see, is maximum 10. I'm throwing that ball as hard as I can. Just get aggressive with it. Um, you want to be moving as fast as you can because that is how you start to develop that speed. If you're moving sub-maximally, you're not going to get that development. And that is what we're here for, so we don't want wasted effort doing these exercises. And then for the final exercise, we're going to be doing a plyo push-up. This is great for your speed work with the push-in. As you can see now, the resistance is only my body weight. And that is sort of what classifies this as our speed work. So we're moving as quickly as we can. And that is why I've got the plate just to sort of get that intent of pushing myself as high as I can. But you don't need to put these plates there if you're not comfortable with catching yourself on the plates. Just aim to move as quickly as you can. And if you want, try and get your hands off the ground.